Today, me and my cosmate will be conducting a seismic reflection method. And this method is one of the common methods uh, to map the subsurface layer of the Earth. Today, we will learn uh, what is the equipment and how we set up and after that, how we get the data uh, for our seismic reflection method. Okay, let's go. This is a uh, Abem Terra Northern Pro 2 and its function is to record the travel time of the seismic wave in the SCT2 format. Uh, this is a 12 volt battery. It is used to supply power for the ambulances and it is advised to bring two set of them. This is a rubber plate and it acts as a marker for all estimated short points. The next is the induced or trigger cable. Induced or trigger cable is used to connect to the induced switch. This switch is to generate power for the transmitted wave. Uh, this is sledgehammer to induce the transmission of seismic waves into the subsurface. This is meter tape. Its function is to measure desired survey length on the field. This is earphone with frequency of 14 Hz. It acts as a receiver for the refracted waves that being transmitted back after hitting the subsurface. This is channel cables. It connects the earphones together and link them to the RPM catalog port. So this is Global Positioning System or GPS. It is to function to mark the exact location of the site investigation as well as the position of the survey line. This is how we set up the phone. We, we decided to make the spacing is 0.5 meter. So this is the first phone, and after 0.5 is the second one is uh, 1.5 meter and the rest is like this. Okay. Offset is 0.5 meter. This is how we connect the phone to the channel cable. This is the clip. Okay. This one the first phone, And the next one is after 0.5 meter is then uh, we clip it and we continue to the rest of the earphone okay this is how we connect the channel cable to the equipment this one is connected to and this one is the connector one the connector one will get the data for geophone number one until number 12 and the second one is 13 until geophone number 24 this is how we connect the power cable to the equipment and this power cable will connect to the battery 12 volt that we bring just now. Okay. And this is the battery for the power supply. And connect the positive one and the negative one. This is how we connect the trigger cable. Okay. Okay. The black one and the red one. Good one. Tak ada dia punya pin. Okay. Okay. And this trigger cable will connect to the earphone. Earphone. Trigger switch acts as a trigger switch and. This one is the slash hammer and the rubber plate. Okay. We wait until the elevation is 2.4. Okay, let's see. Okay. And this is how we mark the location in the GPS and after we mark, we name it as what we desire and after we name it, 
and then done. Okay, this is the software. SSTW and it's just the number of channel. You change it to 24 channel and type of uh, method is reflection and the record length which is 512.0 and next okay check the rest okay so we select the spacing in this case we choose one meter and send the starting point we can change it to send okay and the distance is hammer okay okay and this is the geophone geophone test we select the geophone test okay let me check the geophone is it workable or not and it show that Number 8, number 12, number 13 and number 21 is not connected. So we need to recheck again what is the problem. Okay. Got sikit. Guide. Hi. Punch. Okay and we captured the data. Okay, take a step. Okay, one more. Okay, take a step. Okay, and accept. Okay, this is the result. And you can see the trend for the first arrival. After we satisfied with the data, we will repeat. Uh, the location at the different shot point until we finish all the seven shot point that we mentioned before.